Well, Mark, one week from Election Day with early voting in full swing, the race is underway for House District 7, which includes Gregg, Harrison and Marion counties. Good evening. Thanks for watching. I'm Brennan Gurley. CBS 19's Robert De La Garza spoke with each candidate in District 7 as they earned or worked to earn your vote. House District 7 serves approximately 200,000 East Texans. Incumbent Republican Jay Dean faces off against Democratic candidate Marlena Cooper. Dean, a former city council member and mayor of Longview, is looking to secure his fifth term as a state representative. Dean says his past roles and experiences make him qualified for this position. That, that further helped me broaden my understanding of what was really important to our community. Marlena Cooper will be the first Democratic challenger for this seat in 30 years. If elected, she aims to achieve a significant list of milestones. First person from Jefferson to ever run, first time for a woman, you know, first time for an African-American, a lot of firsts going on here, and I'm, I'm excited about that. And Cooper embraces the motto, keep Texas true. Parties are one thing, but I am East Texan first, you know, and that, that means a lot to me. A true East Texan from the district she's campaigning for. Everybody here is a part of my family and has been a part of, you know, grooming me and molding me to make me who I am. Cooper built her career in construction management and has previously worked as an educator. She says she is prioritizing education, reliable broadband internet access for all residents, and support for rural health care. While Dean emphasizes his focus on border security, reducing property taxes, and improving workforce development through education. Both candidates strongly oppose school vouchers. Dean says they could have a potential negative impact on rural public schools. We don't have, want to have a brain drain of the best and brightest kids from our great rural public schools just because their parents want to take voucher money and go over to a private school. You need to be writing a trigger bill that says, if this happens, we're going to do this. Or you need to be funding, again, the per pupil uh, dollar amount to bring that up to make sure that our school districts have what they need. Some final words from the candidates before the final day of voting. People know what they have in, in my candidacy. They, they know that they can trust me to do what I say I'm going to do. It, it's time. And we deserve better. And so I am from East Texas, so I am fighting for East Texans all the way across the board. It Reporting from Longview, Robert Elagarza, CBS 19. Make sure to stay with CBS 19 on Election Day. We'll have all-day coverage from the hours after polls open and as results come in on Election Night.